Drinking alcohol is destroying your progress. Here's the cold hard truth. You might be training hard, eating healthy, yet still not seeing the gains that you deserve. If you're serious about building muscle, losing weight, it's time to face the facts. Your drinking habits is what's killing your gains. Stick around and I'll explain to you exactly why that's the case. I recently published a video titled Alcohol Has Zero Benefits. This speaks about the overall consequences of alcohol consumption on our health. This video is going to specifically talk about those of you who want to gain muscle, lose weight, or lose fat. Those of you who are currently overweight, skinny, or obese, who just want to see progress in the overall health and fitness goals towards their overall physique goals. First of all, alcohol interferes with the most critical aspect when it comes to building muscle. That's known as protein synthesis. That's the process in our body that's responsible for repairing and building new muscle fibers. You gotta understand that's literally the only way you are able to build your muscles. When you go to the gym and you lift weights and you train, you only tear the muscle fibers within your muscles. You don't build them. The process of protein synthesis is what repairs and builds your muscles so they come back bigger and stronger than before. Alcohol consumption disrupts this entire process. Research has shown in the short term that even small or moderate amounts of alcohol consumption can significantly decrease protein muscle synthesis, which of course is going to impact your muscle recovery, your muscle growth, and overall muscle gains. The longer term impact on your results, if you're someone who's regularly been drinking alcohol, any amount of alcohol, is impaired protein muscle synthesis, decreased muscle mass and strength, which of course makes it significantly more difficult for you to achieve your fitness goals. I don't see how anyone would intentionally sabotage their own progress. That really does not make sense to me. If you want to see and you want to optimize your muscle gains, you want to optimize your weight loss progress, don't drink alcohol. For us men, the other problem is that drinking alcohol decreases testosterone levels. Guys, that is literally the holy grail, the key hormone in our body responsible for muscle development. Alcohol lowers our testosterone levels, which of course affects our overall ability to build muscle. This is because alcohol alters the endocrine system in our body, which is what leads to lower overall testosterone production in our testicles. Among the long list of consequences that come from having lower testosterone levels, when it comes to our muscle gains, alcohol disrupts the balance between our muscle building and muscle breaking hormones. So, going catabolic or going anabolic. Our muscle building is anabolic, our muscle breaking down is catabolic. It favors muscle breakdown. That is the last thing you want to hear. Drinking alcohol also interferes with the absorption of essential nutrients. Vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all of which are required for muscle growth and overall just being more healthy and fit. Key nutrients like B vitamins, zinc and magnesium are critical for proper joint and muscle function as well as our gains. Their absorption into our bodies are completely compromised by drinking alcohol. This is because alcohol literally damages the lining in our stomach and intestines, which is how it's responsible for reducing the efficiency of our body to absorb these nutrients. The typical recommendation here to prevent nutrient deficiencies is to focus on nutrient-dense diets, supplement nutrient deficiencies, and limit alcohol consumption. Here's the problem. The majority of people who drink alcohol also pair this alcohol with over-processed foods, junk food, takeaway, and sugary rubbish. You have the worst of both worlds. You are guaranteeing that you do not see progress in the gym or towards your health and fitness goals. Just avoid alcohol consumption altogether. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention that alcohol has seven calories per gram per milliliter. All empty calories, no macronutrient, no micronutrient value, no value towards your health and fitness goals, period. If you really are truly serious about seeing results 
especially if you are in a diet. So trying to lose weight, trying to lose fat in a caloric deficit, it is almost impossible to add alcohol in your diet as well as lose weight. It is possible and I'll explain to you in a separate video how you can still see progress on the scale. Is it recommended? Absolutely not. Is it possible? Yes, it is. You are just making your life 10 times more difficult and that is what I'll explain in a separate video. But as for now, just understand alcohol in and of itself is almost equivalent in calories to fats, which are nine calories per gram. Not only is alcohol a depressant, it also acts as a diuretic. It increases urine production, which leads to significant dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, both of which negatively impact muscle performance, recovery, and organ function. Since our muscles contain upwards of 70% water, this is how dehydration can affect our performance both in and outside of the gym. Our muscles contract as a result, especially if you are consuming creatine. Then your ability to train in the gym, your ability to have effective workouts is significantly reduced. Important electrolytes like sodium, potassium and magnesium are lost as a direct result of your dehydration. That's why the main recommendation to prevent or avoid a hangover is to drink a lot of water and some sort of electrolyte drink or electrolyte supplement. Getting really poor sleep is also a direct result of alcohol consumption. Of course, this is vital for any health and fitness goal, whether you want to lose weight, lose fat, gain muscle, or for muscle recovery. The most critical stage in our sleep cycles is called REM sleep. REM sleep is responsible for both mental and physical recovery. Without REM sleep, our central nervous system, our bones and our muscles will never fully recover. Having poor sleep quality then negatively impacts absolutely everything. Your muscle recovery, your muscle gains, your strength progress, your organ function, your hormone levels, your testosterone significantly plummets and the hormone responsible for hunger cravings spikes. It's called ghrelin. You are going to get significant hunger cravings across the day. So if you are in a weight loss or fat loss journey, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly, one more consequence of alcohol consumption is the fact that it increases fat storage. The fat in your body known as visceral fat, the fat around your organs. That is the most difficult fat to lose and the last fat that tends to leave from your body. It is the fat around your organs, around your love handles, around your kidneys, around your stomach. Your goal is to lose weight, your goal is to lose fat, your goal is to increase muscle, look more lean, look more healthy. Visceral fat is the way to go about doing it, having lower levels of it. So alcohol consumption increasing these fat storage levels is not what you want. For those of you who made it to the end of the video, heard everything I had to say or the consequences of drinking alcohol and one, either don't care or two, still want to find a way to incorporate alcohol in your life to accomplish your results, accomplish the goals that you want to, whether that be weight loss, fat loss, or muscle gain, I promise I will make a video for you. Besides that, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.